Yo guys, Ponchi here, and today we're gonna go over how to get a fat bass tone out of your mother 32. Let's go. All right guys, so here we go. We're gonna get, I'll show you the settings I use to get this bass sound. We'll kind of go through each of them individually. Keep your frequency at 12 o'clock. The, the thing with the Moog Mother 32 is that it doesn't have, uh, you know, separate oscillators for us to detune so we can get that uh, fat bass sound if you've seen any of my other Moog videos. So essentially what you have to do is take advantage of the LFO. So if I turn the LFO rate up, listen what happens. So you kind of you kind of start to get that weird dissonant out of tune sound which you know for most purposes is not the most desirable thing. So you want the LFO to be kind of slow to where it's kind of just like a slow wobble. Essentially what we're doing is similar to the detune um, method but we are using the LFO to do the detuning for us. So rather than have the, the tuning, you know, go up and down super quick, the LFO is just going to kind of give it a, a slow, gentle detune. Thing is, you, about this, you got to kind of find the sweet spot. There's like out of tune territory. Seems like right on that, right on that marker there seems to be the best spot. Okay, so we'll go over some of the other uh, settings. So you want the LFO wave to be triangle. You do not want it to be square. If you put it on square, you get kind of a, uh, it kind of affects the attack more than it does the actual tone um, because it's more of like an on and off kind of thing. Um, so tempo, gate length, leave that down. You want your VCO mod source to be coming from the LFO. You want your waveform to be square. I find that square is always a fatter bass tone than uh, sawtooth, and you can hear for yourself. So definitely keep it on square. Uh, again, frequency in the middle. Glide, if you're doing a lot of uh, jumps, you know, you can turn the glide up a little bit. You know, if you're doing like... I just keep it off for now. So, okay, pulse width. You can kind of play around with this a little bit to see how you would like it. Of course, you don't really want to go too extreme with it on either side. You can try it, start in the middle, and then see which, which one you like better. You want your VCO mod destination to, to be the pulse width because that's kind of given us that, that sound. Mix, go ahead and keep it down unless you want some more noise. But uh, in my opinion, that takes away from the bass sound. The cutoff, of course, you know, you'll be, you could be sweeping that all over. Um, but the important thing to remember with the filter cutoff and the filter resonance is keep your resonance all the way down. The higher you turn your resonance, the more you're going to lose, uh, more fatness you're going to lose. You can just hear, you can just hear your resonance or your, your fatness blowing away as you increase the resonance. <laughs> so keep that all the way down. You know, and depending on what kind of bass sound you want, you know, you could turn it down like that. That's for more like ambient stuff, but uh, you know. If you want a little bit more, of course, turn it up, a little bit more, uh, you know, treble. 
Uh, again, resonance down. That That's pretty much about it. With your envelope, you want to make sure that your attack is as uh, low as it goes so you, you get that attack. Because if, if you turned up the attack, it would be more for like a pad sound. That still kind of gives you that fatness, but not until, you know, not until the end of the sound. Of course, it's uh, directly related to your decay too, so. The attack basically controls how long it takes to get to full, full volume. So I keep the attack down all the way and the decay, it depends how quick of a decay if you want. If you're arpeggiating um, a bunch of notes super quickly, you'll want to turn your decay down more. Probably not that low, but again, when you're doing like some quick arpeggiating, um, you know, you want to adjust your decay to your liking. Uh, the VC mix, you know, keep it about here, two o'clock. And that's pretty much it. Um, you'll notice I do have something here. You can take, you can do this, you can achieve this sound without anything there. But what I have, what I had set up right here is the VCF, VCF cutoff going into KB down here. And you can hear instantly without having changed the cutoff. It's more of a subtle uh, bass sound, you know, not as much of this. It also allows you to turn the cutoff down a little bit more, so that way you can get even thicker of a bass sound. So that's pretty much it. Um, to me, this is this is one of the best, one of my favorite bass sounds that you can get out of the Mother 32. Um, you know, all the, I love all the Moogs, at least the ones that I have, I'm lucky enough to have, and they're all amazing. Um, you just got to go about each one a little differently to get uh, these kind of bass sounds. But, uh, you know, obviously Moog is one of the best in terms of synth bass, but uh, I find that, you know, it usually just requires a little tweaking and you'll have an amazing bass sound, so... Hope you guys enjoy, hope that helped you out. And uh, feel free to leave a like if you got value out of this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell if you want notifications about when I release videos. So thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one.